If you find yourself in the situation where you have f minus g of x, this is really f of x minus the function g of x. Okay? Again, our f of x is x plus 1, and the g of x is x minus 1. So we are going to have, instead of just f of x, we're going to substitute in what it's equal to, which is x plus 1. And we're subtracting from that the quantity x minus 1. First thing I'm going to do is distribute my negative sign throughout. So we're going to have x plus 1 minus a negative 1 times 1x one gives me minus x. And a negative times a negative 1 gives me plus 1. And so my x's cancel out. And I'm left with 1 plus 1, or 2, which is equal to f minus g of x. 